Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the casting of Frank Stone. This is part two. Um, and as a recap, we have met our intrepid Scooby gang as they have been trying to make a horror film in the now abandoned mill. They broke their camera, so they went into town. We went to a bizarre little curiosity shop that was run by a very strange woman who we now know is actually Lady Augustine. Um, from 2024. There are multiple timelines in this game. Um, so we had Maddie in 2024. She met with the older Linda Castle. And yeah, we I think we're about to go back to 2024. So without further ado, let's continue. I did do a bit of tinkering around with the, the graphics, um, the last playthrough. Things were running a bit sluggish. I have done some research and I have seen that there are apparently... Uh, a lot of people who, if they don't have a really beefed up PC, and I do not, um, then they are struggling with this game. So I've just notched everything down to the medium settings. Um, so I, I do apologize if the graphical quality isn't as good. Um, but if you want to watch a whole playthrough with the, you know, the eyes dotted and the T's crossed, I'm sure you can find those channels somewhere. Anyway, let's get on. So who exactly is Lady Augustine? Um, she seems, she was, I mean, she was saying that she was in the psychiatric ward when he was younger, right? So it's interesting. These walls have eyes. And we are back at the manor. And it seems <laughs> that Madison is having yet another nightmare. Okay. Okay. Uh... I know we're playing as Linda now. Interesting, okay. I kind of want to make Linda a bit of a badass. Let's go probing. Bad dream, little girl. Bad dream? Ugh, how long was I out? I, I don't even remember falling asleep. I didn't take 15, any of her drinks. <sighs> hmm. Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. If it's not on the IMDb page, oh, it's not official. Right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? Linda. I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? Oh, we got a peek. I'm going to be commanding. That's how Linda rolls. Hmm. 
What are you waiting for? <laughs> I mean, how much money are we talking, though, that she's offering to buy these um, segments of film, you know? Well, now, this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Hmm, I think my curiosity is gonna outweigh my suspicions. Okay. You might open up a bit then more as well. tell me everything you know about Augustine. Stan the hair bun man. Augustine Lieber. Elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with her cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. The occult. We'll stop nothing to get it. Magic. Very Black cats. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. And... I know nothing. What you <laughs> talking about? Pretty much covered it. Good going, Linda. Made hey, him spill the beans uh, and didn't offer anything about yourself. Up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Okay, so here we are. Explore the atrium. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Ah, what do we have here? Who is this dapper gentleman? I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Oh. Well, the huh. shoes are Italian. Interesting. That was a curious sound. Did that come from over here? What did I unlock there? Ah, another secret room. Uh-oh. Before we go in there, because I have a feeling that may... move the story forward. I'm just going to see if there's anything else around here. Ah. Tree. They're just all standing there like Muppets. I um, wasn't really paying attention to what they were saying. But um, I think we've found a little secret room here. Blueprints, perhaps? Well, hello. What is like this? Every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense Augustine has interest in a lot of temporal machinery. To be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Hmm. I mean, if you did have a manor that size, it would make sense. It would make logical sense that you'd have some type of CCTV security. So I can't really fault her on that one. But I think that's all we have to see around here. Can we chat to? No, we cannot. Okay. We are gonna go up the stairs. Uh, while well, they're away from there now. I'm just wondering if there was anything over here that I could have looked at. No, apparently not. Well, the only way is up. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. 
That's an interesting question. Um, I was thinking well, that. Well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Oh, who was her mother? Bonnie. What was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... Mm. How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Oh, shut up, Stan. Very touching. Hmm. I do want to find out about Stan. Yeah, let's find out about Stan. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Hmm. Are the relationships actually going to have any impact on this in previous games? What's your uh, not really. You know what? I'm going to have to get back to you on that. And he didn't give us any information anyway, so, oh well. You feel alienated from me? I just met you today, Maddie. Just because I knew your mum, back in the day, doesn't mean diddly squat, okay? Doesn't mean diddly squat. Ah, what do we have here? Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Ah. So we're going to have to find this piece. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That... Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Are we missing a piece here as well? Or two pieces, perhaps? This looks like some kind of weird death trap elevator. I'm not, I'm not going to be messing around with that. Talk to Maddie. Yeah. We will, in a moment, after I've done my exploring. Where's she gone? She's over there, looking forlornly yeah. down. Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. Looks like it opens with a key. Climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Who's she talking to? She's talking to herself. The Face of Evil, the true story of Frank Stone. Trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. That fateful night, I'd sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. The flat foot was from out of the state, and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was Stone standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I'm not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, and as I drew my gun, took a deep breath and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. So, oh, this is the, um, this is the actual sheriff, not, ah, uh, that's interesting. He's taken the, uh, the accolade. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all of those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Interesting. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably 
probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... My imaginary to... friend. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? She looked hot. Uh, she had that gosh. goth 80s look to her. Well, Pretty hot. Yeah. She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Let's be nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Are they trying to make me fall even more in love with Bonnie? I think they are. Look. What? I don't see anything. What are we looking at, Stan? It just looks like a flamingo or something. Oh no, there is someone out there. Oh. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Hmm. She doesn't appreciate my suspicions? Right, um, what? Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. The manor safe room. I like it. So who is the suspicious person lurking outside in the darkness? Oh, and we have transitioned back. The Phantom of Cedar Steel. Hey, me. It's taking them so long. 
I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Let's act excited then. Hey, right at time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you God know damn it, Chris. you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's yes, Chris. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I'll be honest, if the option comes up to kill Chris, I might let it happen. I might just let it happen. I aim to please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. It's just a teaser, Robert. It's just an assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Not gold or anything, you know. Feast your eyes. What do we got here? Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Hmm. I'm gonna be subdued about it. I'm gonna play the cool guy. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. The furnace room, perhaps? We're going to find something there? Hmm. Let's have a little peeky around the garage. See if there's anything we can see here. Why do we keep on coming to this collection box? I keep on thinking there might be collectibles here, in there. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't Oracle found Oracle of the Definitely Omniverse. Possible. We'll hmm. find it. It was through my own practices, learnt from my journeys through the American interior, that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point that I was able to visualize no another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. No, this little town seems so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhern family still own the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died too tragically some years ago. Here he was, in healthy like middle age, the season of life I knew he had never there reached. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't... The Omniverse? I don't know. Far out. It's all related. To him. Uh, to the way he was. Or, or why he did what he did. Or That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Hmm. 
I am starting to get weird vibes, like um, Avengers Endgame vibes. I pulled some of these today. Oh, ah, Tom Holland interview. Obituaries from around the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Can we not listen to that on the, uh, the boombox? Ah, we can. Okay. Oh. I nearly got stuck there for a second. What do we have here? Uh, end of an era. Journalists sure can't get enough Frank Stone. A Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar Steel Mill. More disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal. 36-year-old machinist Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Kutch is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances over the last three years, has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumours that Stone was taken on the Cedar Steel on its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Hmm. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. End of an era. So it closed... In 1967, after, I guess, after the old, um, the whole thing went down, right? I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Was I meant to talk to someone, or was I meant to put the, uh, I will put the tape in the record. I'm just going to have a little look around first. Ah, uh, no, that's progress in the storyline. We don't want to do that just yet. Hospital call. Mom's finally getting out. Mom will be home Sunday. Can't wait. Well, let's listen to our friend Tom. So Tom obviously went back. I don't reckon I ever will again. And call it in, which was good. Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green. Ain't it better? He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. I did do that, yes, I do remember. If we had waited just a second longer. Well, well that baby would have been thrown in the fires of hell. Beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Ah, uh, so he passed away. Oh, well. Okay. I guess we're talking to Linda over here. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Put your big boy pants on now. Understandable. Hammy. Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? Uh, be more concerned. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little... intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us. Or our families. But they weren't. I'm still thinking that so one think of the kids you. was the baby. I didn't it didn't matter. I just back in the 60s. It happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But there I wouldn't we go. have known about it without Chris's research. Changer. It's pretty rad, disapproving. Uh, I'm going to encourage her. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes! 
Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Just dial it down a notch, Chris. Just all I'm asking for. Just a notch. You know, you're you're working at a twelve. Ah, Bunny. Sweet punk rocker, Bunny. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. She's gonna follow them, isn't she? Of course she is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. Secret entrance, you say, eh? Secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. Bum, bum, bum. I like that Robert's wearing his uh, murder mail right. t-shirt. He's all excited. He's like an excited little bunny. Oh god, what we're now playing is my least favorite person in the world. Find the entrance to the storm drain. Well, can we just go back? I'd rather we went back. No, can't go back. You never know, sometimes going back you find something on the floor, something shiny. We like the shinies. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking wild. Wild. Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. Interesting. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Uh huh. Then it's like a straight shot right in. Mm. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. I see. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Well, if we climb, we're going to get there sooner. So I'm thinking there'll be less time dicking around. And we'll have more time in the mill itself. That's what my thinking is. But obviously, we could run into his dad. And there'll be like a like, stealthy section. And I, held, I hate stealthy sections. But also if we cross... Yeah, well, let's just climb. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. Usually, I would go for the longer route. Controls the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. But I feel like this might have an impact on the time inside the mill, which is what we're um, we're all about, right? Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. 
I saw the little collectible over there. I'm going to go get it. I'm not going to be too disappointed if I don't get them all. I'm not a trophy hunter in the least. Mother Daughter Ring. She says she has found the root of evil, the source of the rot corroding the town. It would actually be cool if the trinkets gave you certain, I don't know, skills or powers. How like in the original Until Dawn, when you saw the totems, it would give you like a flash of a potential outcome of a decision you made. Stuff like that. I didn't mind those type of things, but um, yeah, let's continue on. See some flames in the background there. Some hobo setting up shop. Uh, it's my uh, dad. Everybody hide. We're gonna have to pass a skill check. My thumbs and fingers are ready for it. Hmm. hmm. Someone gonna sneeze. Anyone there? What has he got like a sixth sense on these things? Uh, getting too old for this. Getting too old for this shit. Oh. Huh. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Still anticipating some kind of skill check coming up. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. No? Oh, okay. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. This area to the left interests me. There seems to be some light coming from here, but I can't seem to get over there. No. Okay, obviously not. Let's carry on. Come on, Robert. Get out of the goddamn way. Alley oop. Unless someone's talking. Someone talking? Get some exposition. Get some lore. No? Fuck y'all then. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft with whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but. At least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! Uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, uh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. Robert <laughs> came prepared. Yeah, we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. Now we're in a stinky drainage sewer. Where all the stinky gnosta goes. Hmm. What do we got here? Hard hats? We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. You have a little squeezy wall part over here, so we're gonna go investigate that. We're gonna find another rag doll. Yep, yeah, another doll. Who would have left this here? The Wraith. What 
What is that? Some kind of thermos flask? This would make a great lair. I mean, if you were homeless, you have your own... Oh, what is that? What's he looking at? Is that something we can... We can climb over there. Or what? We can go down this way? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. So, he didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. Got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Hang on, Robert. We never will. Hang on, that's... Damn. I didn't know it was so... intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? We'll never know. Because we are looking at this area. This is a big area. Were we here, Sam? I don't remember this. Huh, we're a little key. Ah. Austin shared. We'll take that. Thank you very much. It's always wise to check I out. Back to Robert. Yeah, I will. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never. Okay. So she's having internalized thoughts. Sorry, I didn't get to hear about, you know, what happened to your dad there. But we do have a key, thanks to me. As I've been saying, just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. Thousand yard stare. It seemed like that. Hmm. Huh. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Sorry, Robert. I've got to look. I got to check out all the nook and crannies. You know, I just wouldn't feel good in my head if I didn't. I mean, we found a key last time, right? So, what else could we find? Uh, a locked door. It doesn't give me the option uh, option of opening it. And now I'm getting a little bit lost. Is this just like a dead end with nothing here? This was just a dead end with nothing here. Bit of padding, bit of filler. So yeah, when we were a Sam, we found a locket down this here, didn't we? Um, didn't recognize who the person was. Maybe we'll find the locket again. Love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film? The Sorry, Robert. Okay. So, I can just tell. The film? The directing? It's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I know you want me to go that way, game, but I'm not doing it, alright? I have to investigate. 
the area. I have to find out if there's any collectibles, any trinkets. What were we? Oh, yes. Right. No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? I think this is it. Up there. Ah, so this is the grate that we came across, right? That Sam came down before. Unless this is a different part of the mill. And I'm assuming there's different grates. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Burmese. And cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! Could you be any louder? You're trespassing in the mill. You know his dad is, you know, combing the area. I don't think you'd be shouting like that. Anyway, disapproving. A little premature of a face sucking. You still have one more scene. Oh yeah, her scene. Let's be insistent about it. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Oh, God. Where were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? We got a Luke and Leia scene going up? I do have up? a place in mind, actually. The furnace room. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Oh, someone's Yo. watching him. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. It's gonna be Bonnie, isn't it? Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. <laughs> gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie. I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, and... Uh, and that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, 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 I mean... Uh, <clears throat> Linda? What do you want me to do about it? Yeah. Bonnie, she's got to do what she's got to do. I get the feeling Bonnie's going to do what Bonnie's going to do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Alright, so now we're playing as Linda. 
Find a door to the furnace chamber. I will, if anyone stopped walking into me. God damn it. Everyone following me then, or am I just hoofing it myself? So yeah, this is where the grate was that um, Sam and Tom found originally. Interesting. Okay. So the area's opened up a little bit more. It's a little bit more overgrown. It's been abandoned. A bit dilapidated. But I wonder if we'll find some interesting things. Like in here. No. Obviously not. We do have a door here though. What, there's no handle? Apparently no handle. Interesting. Can we go around here? We cannot. Get out of my face, Chris. That's locked. We have some steps that lead to nowhere. Is that another door there? Lock two. Not doing so good on the old door front. Well, absolutely nothing around there then. Good times. Ah. Just a collectible box again. <laughs> uh. You made me crouch to just find that. Fear the future. Oh, come on, everyone. Let me out now, guys. Come on. All right, let's get everyone in so that I can get out. Fantastic. Everyone's in this little place with nothing in there. Now we can get out. There we go. Or I've just clipped through the walls. I can do that as well. Alright, that's the way to progress the story. Um, I feel like I probably have missed something. What are you going to do? No one's going to say anything about that? No? Alright. Well, they'll be coming up to uh, Frank's workstation, no? Uh, was that the pipe that Sam was skewered on? He was made into a shish kebab, or a shish Sam. That would be a bit okay. weird if you were a son, no, seeing where yeah. your father it's was just... impaled on a pole. Yeah. This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Quite an abrupt cut. Find a place to shoot. Hmm. Everyone's going to the left, which means I'm heading to the right. Seems to be some kind of generator. Talk to Chris. Okay. Not right after we've gone up this little step. squeeze through here. Ah, 
Aha. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I'll follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. Got the if feeling a quick time it, event's going to be coming up soon. Might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. He's really zoomed in there. And cut. Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. Hmm. How'd I do? Oh, I can't be hesitant. Gotta be approving, come on. Roll of a lifetime. It was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. Yeah, there's you definitely okay? some screeching yeah. of metal going on there. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay, that's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. I don't go that far. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, that was a bit of an awkward uh, pause. You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Oh. Cut deep, homie. You cut deep. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, sibling love. Is Robert going to notice something over the railing? What is that? 
So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, you're such a ditz, Chris. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. If we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Yes, we here's his soul, in, in the essence of the furnace pit the here. Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Looks like a bottle. Use... okay. Holy. What can you see? Oh. Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. So what are we shooting? The, the weird essence? The green aura that's coming out from the ground here? Oh, I see. Take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Not the greatest of mechanics there. That was just a bit of weird. Point the camera at the weird squiggly green things and shoot. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I was meant to be doing there in terms of what that added to the game. But there you go. Dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my yes, he would, Robert. Yes, he would. Not the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night. We're in the abandoned still mill, where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Well, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. So Sam's become a little bit obsessed, eh? I mean, you would be. Why is it? always clowns because clowns are goddamn scary that's why oh that meant to be pennywise those seem to be real fingers and if that was a relic it didn't come up on the screen dead end not this way. There was a door with a padlock on it. Sure, we'll get something saying, you need this to leave. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got the key, didn't we? Yeah, of course. 
our exploring paid off. I'll be completely honest, I completely forgot about the key. Oh, got a little trolley here. I'm going to have to push that something, maybe. But before we do... No, nope, of course. Someone meant to be jumping over there? Is that going to be a platforming sort of part to it? I can get in here. Oh, I meant to squeeze through. Is that what we're doing here? Are we squeezing? Got to squeeze real tight, real hard. Alright, let's just see what we're meant to do with this. Oh, I see, I see. The yellow cloth always prevails. But we're not going over there? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I see. We come through this way. I understand. to do the tightrope. Perfection. Now can we jump over here? Yes we can. It's a good thing I put those moved those things not realizing what they would have been at the time. Now you guys can come up. Oh, a little collectible box. Was that it? Okay, so the prompts aren't coming up now. Or what these trinkets are, but... Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. I feel young uh, Harmy no is feeling a little bit insecure about the relationship between Robert and Chris. 
Look for out the train. So we've become, we were filmmakers, and now we're becoming sort of thrill-seeking treasure hunters. Is that what you're saying? We'll get like a little piece of Frank Stone. So this was Frank Stone's workbench. I thought there might have been something there, but apparently not. Okay. Well, let's check this door first of all. See what our options are. Locked. Of course. Take a little looky over here. Ah, what is this? A button. This should open the door, right? But there's no power. We did see a generator in the other area. Maybe there's something useful in there. But how to get in? There is an open window. And see an open window. And there's a key. How to get the key. Uh, wouldn't we just smash the window? This is an abandoned mill after all. That's what I'd do. I mean, we're already trespassing, right? So... But anything underneath here... Not allowing us to crouch. So I'd assume we'd have to start the power somehow. What has Robert found? Ah, that looks like a Jenny to me. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, is this the uh, Dead by Daylight connection, is it? With hey, the Jennies? Can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, mm. but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. Because I thought I, you were going to make moves on my girl, that, that Robert. Um, thought you were going to make moves on my girl. We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. Point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way. Yeah, Robert, read the room. Hmm. Uh. I mean, they're both bad replies. But let's be suspicious. Just be suspicious. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. And you know what she spends 80% of her time doing when we're together? Talking about how amazing her boyfriend is. Hmm. <laughs> what? It's actually kind of annoying. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Find parts to repair the generator. Oh, fun. Fetch quests. There's one. This might work with the generator. I'm sure the other thing's going to be all the way around here. Uh, it's got to be at his workbench, right? Oh, I thought that was something shining there. No, not oh, Frank's workbench. Ah, oh, here we go. Could help with the generator.
while holding left click to repair the generator still t okay right oh, I have to hold it down oh here we go oops missed that one So yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be a mechanic later on, um, but there's going to be some pressure against us to get all these checks done. I don't know what happened there. There seemed to be some kind of weird... Wow. Taking a long time to prepare this generator. Yeah, uh, you thought you'd catch him on that last one. Nice job. Thanks. Can I just go around here? That would just make life so much easier. Is he telling me I don't need my uh, flashlight anymore, right? I've got the lights working. I would have still just thrown a chair through the window. I mean, you don't really need to have gone to all that trouble just to uh, open the door. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. But game logic, because game logic. Is this not a cart that I can pull? Yes, it is. Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. Already on it, Chris. Already on it. But before we do, just going to have a little look around here just to see if there's anything, any shinies. But always be on the lookout for shinies. No, there are no shinies. Get out of my way, Chris. God damn it. Surely these flimsy tiles would not hold my weight. And where did my flashlight go? Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay. What have we here? Ah, uh, we missed one. Oh well. I thought there'd be some notes, at least, or some kind of... Ah, what's this? Oh no, that's the box again, sorry. No. No lore. Just get the key. So, what do you unlock, little key? Ah, the box car. Find anything? Got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. Still doesn't the key unlocks the box car. explain how. Oh, it already came down. Okay. He is watching us? Is that what you're saying there? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get back up there. What are we looking at? That was a bit weird. Oh, is it just showing us the way to go? Up. Still need to go up.
Come on, let's get some back there. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh, Frank's got his own little... little hideaway going on down here, huh? Ah, just a hand in a glass jar. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Damn! Is... is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. You found Frank's this lair. Is insane. Great place to shoot, though, right? Oh, hand in a jar. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Maybe a personalized note. Ah, oh, notebook. Millwright's Notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation Machine Shop and Repair. Uh, implements of Torture. Other people? Parker D. No. Want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. Kessler E. This time, make it last. Better control for the neck. Small cuts keep right. So he's making his own specialized knives so that he can get really close. And this is his little costume. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut and fix. Ah. I mean, you got Frank Stone's personalized notebook there. Like, Jigsaw's little... Ah, oh, a little hatch there. I see. Thanks, Robert. I saved your life as well, by the way. There's something else on the ground here. Wait there. Alhern's son and friend murdered, say police. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kutch last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhern and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George Calhern, 28, son of Cedar Hill's respected drugstore proprietor William Calhern and his friend Joyce Barton died after their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock for us all, coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay. But as that episode, when Mrs. Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Kutch, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Hmm... It's a couple of times that Calhoun's name's been mentioned, so I'm wondering what relevance that has. Did we see anything over there? You said that there was a, um... A little latch, but there's nothing that I can actually look at myself, no? No? Nothing there? So we found his little pocketbook. Mr. Stone's pocketbook, and now we're going to be looking at what well, is in this jar. Some spices, perhaps? A human oh, head! Fuck. What is it? Oh! Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. No. How do you know that? Because this because stuff would be gone. Left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We 
We have what we need. I mean, you could just film a little part of it. You don't have to touch oh, anything, you know? Don't touch anything. That's a perfect else, set. Okay? That's a perfect set. That's all I'm saying. You could you could just fill your super millimeter camera there. Don't have to touch anything. We should get the hell out of here. Finish looking around. Does that mean there's more stuff? Hmm. Can I take this? I mean, I've already left my fingerprints on it, but this was the 80s though, wasn't it? Okay. Guess there's nothing left. We got to go. Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. She took the jar with the hand in it. Oh no. Uh, I mean, let's just be apprehensive. I would have done the same thing, uh, to be honest. Do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. I'm just not cool with this. Okay, noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course. Oh, you care I care about my feelings. And please, just forget about getting the shot, and let's go outside and wait for Robert and his dad to get back. I really don't appreciate you forcing me to choose between you and the movie. I don't enjoy asking you to make that choice, but you haven't given me much of one either. These guys. I mean, seriously, I these guys. Where you're coming from? We can talk about it. Right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to say, I would basically say, I think I hate Chris. I think Chris is the worst kind of human being in the world. And Hami as well is just like the cuck of all cucks. So I would go with pessimistic. I'm not sure we can talk about this, but because of the character, I'm going to go with appreciative. I'm going to say, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Nom, nom, kissy, kissy, sucky face. Should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. I'm only doing this because I want to get a good ending with Please all the people alive. <laughs> and I feel like if we break them up, huh. that's going to lead to a Is bad ending. A that's I the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of moments where I found that, you know, what would have happened. Um, there is, in this game, uh, you can go back and start certain areas but so far i don't think there's a way that you can skip forward and what is this now the essence of frank stone from all his victims are being leaked out of his lair was he trapped in there is that what we're saying the furnace boils hot with frank stone's released soul huh? oh it's messed up the camera Oh. Ghostly shenanigans at play here. Wow, okay. Oh dear. Well, this doesn't look good. Oh, he's coming back.
Oh, she can only see that through the camera. Okay, right. And a portal has opened up. Oh, wow. Come on, Hami. Time to man up. There he is. Minus his lower jaw. I think it's time to go. Bye. Sorry. How are we how are we gonna go up against the spirit of Frank Stone? Huh? How are we gonna how are we gonna manage that? Well, good. I think that was one of those choices. Either she died or Hammy died. And you know what? I don't really like Chris. I did say at the start of this video, if there's an opportunity there. We're going to do it. Well, guys, that's where we're going to break for part two. So we did a lot of exploring on that one, um, a lot of exposition. And uh, yeah, we finally, uh, Frank Stone's made a comeback, apparently, in some kind of weird ethereal form. Um, yeah, I get the impression that if Hummy would have tried to save Chris at that point, then the ghost like figure would have either stopped him or killed him outright. So, you know what? Hey, there you go. Um, one thing I am starting to like about the castle of Frank Stone is that there is a lot of replayability factors going on here. Um, you can choose on the kiting room floor. Uh, I haven't locked it yet. I've unlocked. I haven't unlocked it yet. But once you apparently uh, have played the game, you can go back and select points where you can then make different decisions. Anyway, what did you think of part two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like or dislike the video, and I'll see you in part three. Stay ghoulish. Bye.